It's hard to think of Amazon as anything other than it is today. This dystopian megacorporation, with a literal smirk for a logo, wasn't always the oppressive juggernaut of human rights violations you hear about now. While the Amazon of 2022 is known for video streaming, two-day shipping, home grocery delivery, and just about everything else needed to run a life on autopilot, the company as it was founded in 1994 was very different. Known as Cadabra Inc. in its infancy, the website was originally an online book retailer that gained traction in the 90s through the rapidly developing internet. As it entered the 21st century, however, the renamed Amazon had begun selling movies, toys, games, and other forms of multimedia to grow its brand. In 1999, while continuing to build its reputation, Amazon managed to land a promotional deal for the release of cinema's biggest sleeper hit of the decade, a movie known as The Blair Witch Project. When the film was released on home media, Amazon would take massive steps in promoting it, creating a standalone webpage that allowed customers to pre-order Blair Witch on VHS and DVD, as well as stream a deleted scene not found in the final film or its upcoming home releases. This deleted scene would be the first video clip ever streamed on Amazon.com and was seen as a major step in embracing the internet as a mainstream tool of promotion. Over 20 years later though, the clip itself has vanished, with no downloads, recordings, or direct transcriptions available. While the two minute outtake may not have been good enough for the release of Blair Witch, its existence holds an important, underrated place in the history of online streaming and Amazon itself. So grab your maps. Take that fucking map into the creek yesterday. <laughs> it was useless. And leave a like as we spend this Lost Media Monday investigating the legend of Amazon.com's lost deleted scene from the Blair Witch Project. The Blair Witch Project was a 1999 horror film that redefined not just its genre, but the movie industry as a whole heading into the 2000s. The film itself is responsible for popularizing found footage horror in America, building the foundation of the genre's most recognizable tropes as we know them today. Shot on a shoestring budget of just half a million dollars, the film used low-grade camera equipment operated by the characters themselves to build horror based on atmosphere, tension, and a fear of the unknown, as opposed to gore, monsters, or anything that cost more than five dollars to put together. Its final scene infamously saw the main characters killed off screen, with the film suddenly cutting to credits without offering a clear look at the monster or a clear explanation of what just happened. If that sounds familiar, it's because these are the same creative tent poles that hold up films like Paranormal Activity, Unfriended, The Devil Inside, Amityville Haunting, and many, many more. But Blair Witch was also responsible for change on a much larger scale, with its guerrilla marketing tactics and resulting financial success, causing the movie industry to look at the internet as a viable tool for advertisement. See, leading up to its release, the events in Blair Witch were being marketed as 100% real, and leaned heavily on the internet to help build its mystique. This even went as far as ending festival and test showings by asking audience members to come forward if they had information that could help, and updating the unknown actor's IMDb pages to list them as missing, presumed dead, though this only lasted until about a year after release. Because these were the early days of the internet, there weren't a lot of ways to know this was completely fictional. Most audiences had no exposure to things like ARGs or viral marketing tactics, making it hard for the average person to discern whether this was fake or if someone was actually willing to profit off the found footage of some dead kids in a forest. This campaign, combined with the interest and confusion surrounding it, helped the film skyrocket in popularity. The Blair Witch Project was originally released to just 27 theaters, making $1.5 million before its demand led to a nationwide expansion. It would go on to become the 10th highest grossing film of 1999, earning back its budget a thousand times over and becoming one of the most profitable movies ever made. This is where Amazon enters the scene. The site viewed the upcoming home video release of The Blair Witch Project as a great hype generator for its rapidly growing business, and partnered with Artisan for a promotional campaign to help steer potential customers toward the online retailer. On September 1st, 1999, nearly a full two months before the film was available for purchase, Amazon issued a press release stating fans could head to their website to not only pre-order The Blair Witch Project and pick up related merch, but also stream a deleted scene from the film one that couldn't be seen anywhere else. In the release, a quote from product manager Jason Kylar also noted the internet as a factor in the film's success, and as a reason for the partnership itself, stating, 
The success of the Blair Witch Project opened the industry's eyes to the impact the internet can have on Hollywood. We are thrilled that Artisan is continuing this commitment by giving us exclusive online rights to this footage. It's only fitting that a film that gained much of its massive popularity through the web is now offering this exclusive footage via the internet at Amazon.com. Labeled as newly discovered footage shot during the last days of the crew's lives, fans could watch the two-minute clip by installing a real player add-on that would allow it to be streamed directly on Amazon's webpage. This was groundbreaking at the time, as clips had never been viewable within the website itself. The press release marked the scene as the site's first embedded video, stating the venture was, quote, continuing Amazon.com's reputation for cutting-edge technology, and noted the scene wouldn't be released in any other format. Decades later, Amazon and Artisan have stayed true to their word. No future home releases have included the scene, with even the most recent Blu-ray version of Blair Witch earning criticism for its lack of extras. From what the Internet Archive can tell us, the clip and the dedicated Blair Witch page on Amazon.com were present for less than two years, first appearing in September of 1999 before being removed in mid-June of 2001. It's been 21 years since this piece of lost film has seen the light of day, and with every new version of Blair Witch neglecting to include it, it's hard to say for certain if it ever will again. So what was this now mythical scene within the Blair Witch canon, and are there any efforts to bring it back for public viewing? Well, after Amazon released the scene in 1999, film site PlasticIguana.com provided a short write-up as part of a page that described Blair Witch's known deleted content. It appears to take place before the main characters actually enter the Blair Witch's forest, and was described as follows. It's a brief scene during the trio stay at the hotel, where Heather sets down the rules of the shoot and how she's the boss. What she says goes, since she has more money in the project than the others. The scene ends with Heather turning the camera on herself and telling the viewer that she's committed to the project, and anyone who isn't can basically take a hike. Without knowing that their description of the scene would serve as its lone bit of concrete information over 20 years later, Plastic Iguana was nice enough to give their impressions as well, stating that it's quote, a good scene, but it's just another one of the Heather on a Power Trip segments that we've already got plenty of throughout the film, which is probably why the filmmakers cut it. Thanks to that information, fans are aware of what they've missed for the past 20 years, but that's probably why they're not rushing to find it. Without adding much to the lore of the witch itself, or giving us anything new to the characters, it's hard to feel like there's anything of substance to find here. A search for the scene could potentially take years, and would need to involve ex-Amazon employees and film crew while navigating any legal agreements that keep the scene under wraps. All that effort, just for two more minutes of characters being passive-aggressive, in a film that spends its first hour giving us nothing but that, just seems counterproductive. Thankfully, as far as preservation goes, it's incredibly likely the scene is out there. Artisan Entertainment probably has it alongside the other hours of completed footage not used in the film or its home releases. And if they ever decide to release a new edition of the movie with deleted content, it's unlikely that the scene's promotional tie-in with Amazon would prevent it from being included over 20 years later. The scene may not be the most interesting piece of lost media, and even within the realm of its own canon, there's nothing especially important about it. But the missing Blair Witch scene does hold an interesting place in history, mostly due to the format of its release. As the first video clip streamed on demand on Amazon's website, this two-minute scene represents the first footprint of a journey that would lead to Amazon's prime streaming service and online streaming as a whole. The Blair Witch Project helped revolutionize how the internet could be used in film, but through this little-known piece of lost media, also helped revolutionize how film could be used on the internet. And whether or not it's recovered for public viewing, it still deserves recognition for doing that much. <laughs>